Hey there guys, in today's video, I have newborn baby goats. So I wanted to walk you guys through the things that I would be paying attention to and looking for with brand new baby goats. So if that's something you guys are interested in seeing or you just think the baby goats are adorable, you wanna make sure to stick around because that's gonna be coming up right after this. <music> This is Jack over at High Red Bird, where I am tirelessly working to find new ways to make the keeping of exotic animals and pets more exciting, more affordable, and ultimately more enjoyable. And as you guys may have noticed, I am currently holding some day-old baby goats. It is okay to be very, very jealous of me right now because these guys are absolutely adorable. Now, there are a lot of things that, oh, I know, there's a lot of things we need to talk about, huh? Now, there are a lot of people that will tell you all the things you need to do for raising your baby goats, but there are often some things that you want to look out for on the very first day with your baby goats. So in this video, I wanted to walk you guys through some of the things that I would be looking for on brand new baby goats. And as you can see, uh, they can be a little bit squirmy, so some of these things can be a little bit difficult. One of the first things you want to check is make sure that your baby goat is completely clean. Mom should do a good job of cleaning this baby goat up. Sometimes they do just need a little bit of assistance. Uh, you can use a soft washcloth and some warm water to just sort of clean away any residual mucus or anything like that. I do want to point out you want to definitely check things like the nostrils. You want to make sure that you get those nice and cleared. Uh, you want to check the inside of the ears. Uh, basically any crevices or anything where something could get stuck. Now, one of the biggest issues with that residual mucus, if it stays, if it dries out, it can attract flying insects. So it's just something you want to avoid. Now, with a day old baby goat like this, they should be walking very, very soon. Uh, within a few minutes to an hour, they should be up and moving around very, very well. Uh, they may still be a little bit stumbly, but they should be pretty graceful. They should be pretty active. If you have a goat that isn't moving in that short period of time, that would definitely be something you want to have looked at because they should be very, very active very quickly. Now, at a day old, they're not going to be what you expect of baby goats. They're not going to be running around, jumping and bouncing off of things, but that will happen in a matter of days. They do hit that point very, very quickly, just not necessarily on the first day, but their movement should be pretty easy going. Uh, you are gonna wanna check the umbilicus. That's what's gonna be left of the umbilical cord. Uh, you're gonna wanna make sure that that's nice and clean. Uh, if there is an excess of it, you wanna make sure that you trim that down if needed, just so the baby isn't stepping on it. Uh, and I always recommend cleaning it. I use betadine to go ahead and just clean that up. That way there's no risk of infection or at least a minimal risk of infection. Uh, you wanna make sure that these baby goats are going to be getting colostrum. Now colostrum is going to be the very first batch of milk that the mom produces and it is going to be full of all sorts of microfauna that these guys are going to need to populate their digestive tract. So it's very, very important that they get that. They get a lot of passive immunity for a wide variety of things through that colostrum. If mom is not nursing the baby, uh, you can of course get a packaged colostrum substitute, but I definitely recommend getting colostrum from mom if possible. All of my baby goats, even the ones that I bottle raise, I do still let them nurse off of mom for the first three days just to make sure that they get the best start to life possible. Uh, otherwise, you know, you really just want to check them over, make sure everything is working as it should. You wanna see that they are eating, uh, so they should be going up to mom, they should be eating from mom, uh, and they should be going to the bathroom as well. That's sort of the flip side of that. Now with their fecals, it is going to fluctuate because they will start picking at solid food uh, within the first couple of days. 
So you're gonna have some that just look like very small versions of adult fecals, um, but as they are eating a ridiculous amount of milk, or rather consuming a ridiculous amount of milk, uh, you can also expect some fecals to be uh, a little softer in nature, uh, and they may have a yellowish to orange color compared to the dark brown, almost black, that you're going to expect in adult goats. Uh, and all of that is going to be okay. What I would look out for in terms of fecals is going to be anything that is watery, uh, anything that looks under-processed, um, and of course, if there is a drastic change in coloration, in consistency, uh, and they maintain that, that might be a cause for concern as well. Um, these little guys do have a tendency to get into so many different things. I know, I know, y'all can be mischief, huh? So a single instance isn't necessarily going to be the most traumatic thing in the world, but it's definitely something you wanna pay attention to because these guys are tiny. Uh, right now they are about two pounds and getting a weight on your baby goats can be very, very helpful as well. Um, but that means that they don't have the energy stores. If they're not feeling well, they can't last as long as one of the adult goats. So you do need to monitor them. Now these guys I currently have in a stall in the barn. And one thing I'm gonna recommend for you guys is to have them on some kind of substrate that you can easily clean. Uh, so these guys, they're on a sand substrate that I can rake up. So the benefits there are one, I can keep this enclosure very, very clean. Cleanliness is going to be very important in ensuring that your baby goats don't get sick. You also want, you also want mom to not help with the camera, thank you. Uh, you also want to make sure that you can monitor their fecals. So having something like a sand substrate is gonna be great because you can see what their fecals are looking like. But mom is getting a little bit anxious, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this little guy go. But I just wanted to walk you guys through some of the things I would take into consideration for a brand new baby goat. And I certainly hope you guys enjoyed this baby goat. I know because you are adorable, huh? So I do encourage you guys to click the thumbs up button if you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. I need to say thank you to my Patreon patrons for helping to make these videos possible. You can find out more by visiting Hi Red Bird on Patreon or clicking the link in the description section down below if you would like more information. Thanks.